Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. For today's video, I am going to be talking about my top vanilla fragrances in my collection. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy. I do videos on fragrance, beauty, self-care, and body care. If you like that type of content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you guys doing today? I am so, so happy to have you here with me and I appreciate all of the love and the support. With that said, let's go ahead and let's get into today's video. so today i want to talk about vanilla fragrances you guys know that once in a while i'll do a video on one note and just share fragrances that i love that are that have that note in them when it comes to vanilla we're gonna have to scale it down because there are tons as you can imagine tons of fragrances that have vanilla note in them but instead what i'm gonna do today is i'm going to focus on those vanilla scents where vanilla is the main or the star note of the fragrance as well as give you a few vanilla fragrances that might not be so obvious that they have vanilla in them but they could either be like a spicy vanilla or like a very sexy vanilla a more tropical vanilla so i'm going to start off with the ones that just scream out vanilla to me and i think i'm going to go with just an obvious vanilla fragrance we're going to kick it off with Kayali's vanilla 28 if you love vanilla fragrances this is definitely a must-have in your collection and mine is just aging so beautifully when i first got it it was not this deep just beautiful shade it just looks like it's so intoxicating and very concentrated it just seems like it's going to be just an amazing vanilla fragrance the more this sits in my collection the better it gets this to me is like just brown sugar vanilla extract type of scent it makes me sneeze almost every single time that i that i sniff it because it's very like powerful when it first opens up but this is just I know that we're going into spring so when spring and summer come around this is not one that i pick up too much but this is still great to layer with other fragrances to give it a little bit of a vanilla boost um but what i pick up the most in this fragrance is definitely that brown sugar with vanilla type of vibes it just smells really really nice there's also a bit of a floral in there but it's very it's more towards the background it's just helping to make the fragrance more feminine but it smells so so good and i feel like it's it has so many things wrapped in one fragrance so it's a very sexy vanilla it still has sweetness to it and it's gourmand to me but not super gourmand in the way that you feel like you can eat this fragrance up because it has so many other elements to it but it does have a level of gourmand to it and it is just a perfect perfect vanilla staple type of fragrance to have in your collection if you are a vanilla lover so this one had to be the first one that i mentioned i will say that i have watched other fragrance videos on the vanilla note and i definitely have a few vanilla fragrances in my wish list that i don't have in my collection right now so these are just the vanilla fragrances that are my favorites from the collection that i currently own but i do want to get my hands on mancero's velvet vanilla and there is another one that opinionated scents mentioned in her vanilla perfume that i really really want and it's more on the pricey side i don't remember the name right now but i do want to try those so i will definitely have to do like an update if i do end up trying those out but yeah let's go ahead and let's move on to the next fragrance There's like little parrots here where I live. Um, they're like from the island and they can get really loud, but they're just so beautiful. All right, so this next fragrance, it's definitely a mix of musk and other things. It has suede in it, so it's not necessarily something that many people would consider a strictly vanilla fragrance, but it just gives me 
super super vanilla vibes and this is max creme de nude so you guys know that i've talked about this one quite a lot on my channel i absolutely love this fragrance this would be like my, my musky vanilla mixed with a little bit of caramel in there but it reminds me so so much of bath and body works warm vanilla sugar which you guys know that that is like just a very brown sugar vanilla type of scent it's not necessarily just vanilla it does have that brown sugar element to it and i feel like i get that in this one as well even though there's no brown sugar listed for this fragrance this one has neroli it has caramel musk suede there's madagascar vanilla and ambret this one is just so so good and again i think that this is just like a cozy warm musky type of vanilla scent perfect for winter time so we're coming to an end in winter and i'm kind of doing this video right now but these aren't fragrances that i would pick up for upcoming spring but they're just amazing and amazing vanilla fragrances so yeah that is max creme de nude that's another one that i think is just really really nice Next up, I'm going to talk about Philosophy's Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. When you think of a vanilla fragrance, I feel like this is one of those that is just, this is like your pretty just straightforward vanilla type of scent. Yeah, this one is way more gourmand to me. I feel like this one has almost like a cake type of vibe to it. Mm, it's so so good this one has like a cake like a vanilla cake type of vibe to it it's not too smoky it's not it's not too strong not too woody it's de it definitely stays kind of like in that vanilla sweet gourmand type of category and it is just so sweet and so so good this one has vanilla coconut cashmere wood sandalwood and musk such a beautiful vanilla if you want a more i feel like kayali's has a bit more of like a kick and a spice to it so it makes it a, almost a sexy vanilla this one is just i want to smell like a sweet like a cupcake type of vanilla it's just softer it's so so good it's very edible smelling very gourmand vanilla type of fragrance so not your vanilla extract type of scent but more of your vanilla dessert cupcake type of fragrance so this is really really nice and i definitely recommend this one up next let's talk about one that i'm still i'm showing it to you guys and i know that this should be like my top vanillas but this one, I love everything about it. There's just one thing that I feel like it just messes it up a little bit for me. And this is Montal's Vanilla Cake. So I just, I think the packaging is okay. It's kind of cute, but you don't really know how much you have left in here. Um, you take off like this little dangling part here. So this is good for travel. If you want to travel with it, that will stop it from spraying. But the notes in this one really caught my attention because it's meringue, milk, Madagascar vanilla, caramel, and almond. It sounds like it's going to be this perfect just vanilla dessert cake type of scent. And it does have that type of scent to me it smells more like the vanilla frosting of a cupcake like the icing part of the cake but i don't know why i get like this kind of synthetic note in here there's something that's a little bit screechy in this fragrance and i wish that it didn't have that i wish that it was a little bit more smooth but i honestly don't really hear anyone else complaining about that so i'm kind of worried if i got like a bad bottle or what because the scent of it is really really sweet i can smell like this icing vanilla type of scent so this is super super sweet if you do not like sweet scents like that this is not for you but if you love to smell like a snack like a dessert like a vanilla cupcake with the little sprinkles on top that's kind of what i think of with this 
this is definitely the one for you now I have to find out, maybe get like a sample of this one and compare it just to make sure that my bottle is still good and that that little squeechy or synthetic note that I'm getting is not just me or maybe my bottle is bad. I'm not too sure, but if it wasn't for that one little thing, this would be just an amazing, just super sweet vanilla cupcake type of scent. So if any of you guys have this one, let me know if you get like a something in the background that's a little bit sharp a little synthetic almost like a chemical type of scent that kind of takes away from that beautiful sweet frosting smell that i get so i would love to know if that happens to you guys or if it's just me but let's go ahead and let's move on to a, another vanilla fragrance that is super super nice and this one is Skylar's Vanilla Sky and this is the newest packaging it did change recently and they did turn this into a EDP so this one is kind of like the perfect vanilla fragrance with a little shot of cappuccino in there like a little shot of espresso in there it's not too strong but it gives the fragrance a little bit just a little bit of that coffee note in there but i think it's so beautiful yeah it's vanilla but you definitely get the coffee in it i feel like maybe you're sitting in like a, a bakery and you're having a nice coffee but there's tons of sweetness around you at the same time and those smells are kind of mixing with each other because there's a lot of sweetness in here but then that coffee does ground out the fragrance a lot it is not like um i don't want you to think that this is like black opium or anything like that because black opium is a lot of florals it's more like going out type of scent this one is more of like a cozy edible vanilla and coffee type of vibe that coffee definitely has like milk in it it's not straight up coffee but it's there so this one has cappuccino sweet orange and bergamot in the opening then you have vanilla cinnamon spanish jasmine and the base notes are caramel sandalwood amber and cedar so you can imagine that that caramel adds a lot of sweetness and kind of like a syrupy thick type of texture to the fragrance while still keeping that vanilla in there and then a little bit of that coffee fragrance. So it is definitely a gourmand, sweet vanilla type of scent. And this is another vanilla fragrance that I highly, highly recommend if you love vanilla fragrances. And definitely if you haven't tried this one out, this is Vanilla Sky, try it out. If you have the chance to try it out, super yummy gourmand vanilla fragrance. Next up, we have the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. This one is more like that vanilla that you want to wear before bedtime, after a long day at work, after you just had like a stressful day, you want to take a bath, you want to come out and just put something that's going to put you in a very relaxed state of mind. This one also has caramel in it, so it does have sweetness. It has pear in here as well. It has rose, but I don't really, the rose to me doesn't jump out at all. The main notes that I get in this fragrance are pear, caramel, and vanilla. That's really all that I get. I don't really get rose in there. And if it does, the rose maybe adds a little bit more of a feminine touch to it. If you're a person who is not a fan of rose, don't be scared to try this out because I don't really pick up rose in this one. And this one, the first time that I smelled it, I wasn't really a fan of it either. And then when I wore it a second time and a third time, it just started getting better and better and better. It kind of reminds me of that pear in La Belle, but just without the vetiver, without any spice to it. So it's just very sweet pear and vanilla. Super, super good vanilla fragrance. This is another must have for me. Next, moving on to a woody vanilla. This one's not going to be for everyone, but there's something about this fragrance that I just find very comforting and just, I love it so, so much. And this is Nirvana Bourbon. 
and i believe that these have been discontinued but oh my god do i love this fragrance this is pretty much just a woody vanilla so nothing fruity in here nothing not really nothing floral either the three notes for this one are oak bourbon vanilla and tuberose the bourbon vanilla in here to me is not the type of bourbon vanilla that will make you sick or anything like that because sometimes bourbon vanilla can be a little too much here to me it just smells very natural it's a little bit dry because of that woody touch to it so to me it's just it's not super sweet, it's not cloying, it's not too floral. It's just a very comforting woody vanilla scent. Oh, and it's so good. And it does get a little bit of sweetness as it dries down, but it's not too sweet at all. This is just such a beautiful, I would wear this more for like if I was going to a dinner. It's more classy to me. It's more like, if you just want something that is not going to offend anyone it just smells very like polished to me it's not crisp or anything like that it's not super clean or nothing but just put together vanilla comforting woody type of scent it's just so so good i don't really get two rows in here too much almost at all i just get a woody vanilla but it is just stunning beautiful fragrance Next up, I have Mon Guerlain, and this is the Floral Flanker. So either the original Mon Guerlain is totally amazing with the vanilla as well. I just tend to prefer the Floral version. I just think it's just so beautiful. And this is going to be your vanilla with a little bit of floral and lavender. So this to me is still another one that's just very classy scent. And the vanilla in here is mixed with a heavy dose of lavender, so you have to like lavender. To me, it is that aromatic lavender, the type of lavender that you get when you are when you have your oil diffuser going and that very relaxing lavender just fills up the room and it just puts you in a very relaxed state. That's what I get with this one mixed with a little bit of florals and the vanilla, of course. So this one has lavender, bergamot, mandarin orange, lemon, there's floral notes, peony, there's even peach, neroli, ylang ylang, lily of the valley, and then the base notes is vanilla, iris, and sandalwood. So I definitely get just a little bit of floral, lavender, and vanilla. Those are kind of like the main notes that I pick up, but it is just a must-have vanilla in your collection but you do have to enjoy that lavender note in there, which that's a 50-50. Some people hate it and some people totally love it. Moving on to this next fragrance, you guys, I recently just got this and this has become a favorite fragrance that I want to have forever in my collection. And obviously you guys know that sometimes we could change our mind. So sometimes I get scared to say those things because then if i change my mind i don't want you to think that i was lying or anything but so far the experiences that i have had with this fragrance are just amazing and this is Jo malone's scarlet poppy so here is the bottle it comes in this really nice red bottle and this one when i would spray it on a paint on a piece of paper or on my skin to test it out i just got this very beautiful powdery almondy sweet vanilla but on the skin when I wore this this went through so many phases it even went through a phase where I almost smelled the same smokiness that is in uh, hot couture I got that for a little while and I just couldn't believe what it was doing on my skin and then after it went through that phase then it just turned into this very sweet beautiful vanilla fragrance so it definitely just took me on like a ride and i was just, i just kept sniffing myself and this stuck to my pillow and my sheets 
you guys i woke up the next day and i just had this smell all around me my pillows smelled like this for days so it might not be super long lasting or be smelled like when you're wearing it on your skin but it will project from your clothing because it's stuck on my clothes so so good and it just gives this very soft feminine really nice vanilla sweet scent with just a hint of like an almondy vibe but it's not too much it's the vanilla definitely overpowers in this one because for example hypnotic poison has vanilla but the almond overpowers the vanilla in that one i feel like this one is just beautiful vanilla with a hint of almond a little powdery sweet beautiful beautiful scent i really really love this one all right now i wanted to talk to you guys about giorgio armani's my way i'm going to include this in this vanilla video but we're going to start going towards the ones that i feel like they're not strictly vanilla but they do have that vanilla presence in them so here is my way i need to start wearing this one way more because i kind of forget to give it love and the reason why i wanted to put this one in this video is because this one opens up as a very floral tube rose pretty sweet girly type of scent almost has like a candy vibe to it just super sweet super cheery but when this starts to dry down that vanilla comes through and it is just beautiful it warms up the fragrance it gives the fragrance a little bit more of a grown-up feeling to it it is really really nice and the vanilla is beautiful in the dry down of this fragrance so if you want a vanilla that can be worn all year round this is definitely the one um, it will give you a beautiful brightness in the springtime but then in winter it will still give you that nice warm vanilla so i definitely recommend this one as a vanilla fragrance next up if you want like a vanilla mixed in with a little bit of coconut kind of like a beachy tropical type of vanilla i'm going to recommend alien goddess which i didn't think that i was going to enjoy this fragrance as much as i'm enjoying it but you really do get the vanilla in this one just mixed in that bergamot and the opening always drives me wild with the coconut water it's a little beachy it feels like you have the sun on you it's just really really nice scent for summer but it still has vanilla so if you are a vanilla lover this is perfection for summertime for just warmer weather you're still going to get that vanilla vibe from it it's just going to have more tropical summer notes to go with it and it is just amazing now if you want a more spicy vanilla a little bit of patchouli in there sexy vanilla very sweet as well it's sweet but it also has the spice to it and this is none other than lancome's la via belle this is just like a classic i know that some people are tired of this fragrance but i feel like this is just a staple for a sweet vanilla with patchouli and just like that praline type of vibe in a fragrance this has tonka bean it just dries down to this beautiful amazing sexy sweet fragrance and i don't think i'll get tired of this one i know that some people just can't stand it when people talk about it but i don't really mind if i smell like other people i don't compare myself to what someone else smells like so if i enjoy something that's all that matters so la via belle to me is just a beautiful vanilla that has definitely has more spice more patchouli in there it doesn't bother me you guys know i'm a little iffy with patchouli the patchouli in here is perfection and that i get a lot of the praline and i do get orange blossom in this one i am able to pick up that orange blossom a lot and vanilla so beautiful fragrance the last one that i'm going to be talking about is another very sexy vanilla this one is one that my husband kind of got like very 
obsessed with for a while i couldn't believe that he liked it this much because i thought he was going to hate this fragrance and this is lancome's and this is lancome's la nuit tresor a la folie this is definitely a very nice vanilla fragrance but it has so much more to it so here is the gorgeous bottle and this one is very sexy. I would wear this one on a date. I, I wear it to bed sometimes because my husband finds it really, really sexy. And he likes when I wear this one. Yes, this one has sweetness to it. It has a nuttiness to it as well, but it's not very pronounced. It's just there. It's just the right amount. Vanilla. There's fruits in here. It's just so much it's very to me it's very complex it's not uh, a linear fragrance at all and it definitely changes some days i wear it and i get a different vibe than the last time that i wore it so i really really think that if you're looking for a very sexy seductive deep vanilla scent with a little bit of fruitiness a bit of nuttiness in there as well check this one out because it is amazing so that brings me to the end of my vanilla fragrances video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below your favorite vanilla fragrances. I would love to add more vanilla fragrances to my collection. So I would love to hear your thoughts on what vanilla fragrances I need. Do you guys love uh, Velvet Vanilla by Mancera? I have heard that that is a great vanilla fragrance. So let me know your thoughts on that one as well because that one might be one of my next purchases and that is going to be all for today thank you so much for being here with me subscribe if you haven't subscribed give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video